morning, everyone. I'm Miss Tori, and welcome to Preschool Storytime at Donald W. Reynolds Library, serving Baxter County. Let's start with our good morning song. Parents, here are the lyrics. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. We've stories to read and so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Terrific job, everyone. Today's story time will feature... What? What? There's something on my head. Where? Here? Oh, here. Me. What is that? Oh my goodness! It's just you, Tom! What were you doing on my head? You were afraid I'd forget you? Of course I wouldn't! After all, today's story time is all about you! That's right, everyone! Today we will be learning all about turkeys! A turkey is a kind of bird. It's got big, colorful feathers, and it has wings and legs. The part below the knee on the leg is called the drumstick. And turkeys have a waddle, which is this red part. A turkey's waddle is for helping it keep cool. Turkeys don't sweat like humans do. Instead, on hot days, they stretch out their waddle to release excess heat and cool themselves off. How cool is that? For our first activity, we are going to use what we just learned about turkey anatomy. Wings, drumstick, waddle, and tail to dance. The song we'll be singing is called the Turkey Pokey. You're going to need space to do this dance. So make sure you go find a good spot while your parents look at the lyrics. Are you ready to do the turkey pokey? Let's go! Put your right wing in, oh take your right wing out. Put your right wing in and shake it all about. You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Put your left wing in, oh take your left wing out. Oh put your left wing in and shake it all about. You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Put your drumstick in, oh put your drumstick out, oh put your drumstick in and shake it all about. You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Put your waddle in, oh take your waddle out, oh put your waddle in and shake it all about. You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Put your tail feathers in, oh take your tail feathers out. Oh put your tail feathers in and shake them all about. You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Put your turkey body in, put your turkey body out. Put your turkey body in and shake it all about. You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Tip top job, everyone. Gobble, gobble. Tom thinks you were terrific too. What? What's that sound Tom's making? Oh, just like a sheep makes a ba sound and a dog goes woof, woof. Turkeys go gobble, gobble. Would you like to try and make a turkey sound? Are you ready? One, two, 
three, gobble, gobble. Let's try that again. One, two, three, gobble, gobble. Great job. Now it's time for us to learn more about turkeys by reading our first book. It's called, I'm a Turkey. Let's read. I'm a Turkey by Jim Arnolsky. I'm a turkey, they call me Tom. I got a turkey dad and a turkey mom. I got a turkey brother and a sister too. I'm part of a flock of a hundred and two. Wild turkeys, every one. When you live in a flock of that many birds, you've got to communicate but not with words. We putt and peep and squawk and squabble. Talking turkey, gobble gobble. A great big bird weighing 15 pounds takes some time getting off the ground. I flap my wings and aim toward heaven and take off slowly like a Boeing 747. 50 miles per hour over the treetops. You know being a turkey has its ups and downs. We're big and strong. We strut around. But we must be careful. Can't be hasty cause lots of critters find us tasty. That makes us wary, always on the lookout. What's that in the bushes over there anyway? But not to worry, we keep on surviving and our numbers keep on multiplying. The very next turkey that you see might be from my flock. It might be me. Make a gobbling sound so I know it's you. I'll answer back with a gobble or two. We'll be talking turkey. Gobble, gobble. The end. Can you imagine having 102 family members? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten? I'd have to have 21 hands to count that high. For our next activity, we'll be counting with a Feltford story. Parents, here is the rhyme. Are you ready for our felt board rhyme? How many turkeys do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five little turkeys by the barn door. One waddled off, waddle, 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 waddle. And then there were one, two, three, four. Four little turkeys under the tree. One waddled off, waddle, 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 waddle. And then there were one, two, three. Three little turkeys with nothing to do. One waddled off, waddle, waddle, waddle. And then there were one, Two, two little turkeys in the noonday sun. One waddled off, waddle, 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 waddle. And then there was one. 
one little turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Uh-oh, better run away! Whoosh! The end. That felt board story was so much fun. Hey, Tom, did you know that wolves are not the only ones who think turkeys are tasty? Gobble. Humans think turkeys are delicious, too. Gobble, gobble! Oh, Tom, you look so yummy! Ah, uh, just kidding! Ooh, gobble! <laughs> Our next story is about a turkey who's trying to make sure that he's not dinner on Thanksgiving. Let's read. Turkey Trouble by Wendy Silvano, illustrated by Lee Harper. Turkey was in trouble, bad trouble, the kind of trouble where it's almost Thanksgiving and you're the main course. But Turkey had an idea. What if he didn't look like a turkey? What if he looked like a horse? Surely Farmer Jake wouldn't eat a horse for Thanksgiving. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, turkey looked just like a horse. Almost. Nay! <laughs> Moo, said Cow. Stop horsing around, Turkey. How'd you know it was me, moaned Turkey. Too short, said Cow. Gobble, gobble, grumbled Turkey. But looking at Cow gave Turkey a new idea. Surely Farmer Jake wouldn't eat a cow for Thanksgiving. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a cow. Almost. Oink, 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 snorted Pig. Holy cow, is that you, Turkey? How'd you know it was me? groaned Turkey. Too skinny, said Pig. Gobble, gobble, grumbled Turkey. But looking at Pig gave Turkey a new idea. Surely Farmer Jake wouldn't eat a pig for Thanksgiving. costume wasn't bad. In fact, turkey looked just like a pig. Almost. Bah! Bah! bleated sheep. Quit being a ham, turkey. How'd you know it was me? Well, turkey. Too clean, said sheep. Gobble, gobble, grumbled turkey. But looking at sheep, gave Turkey a new idea. Surely Farmer Jake wouldn't eat a sheep for Thanksgiving. Bah! Bah! Gobble! Gobble! His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a sheep. Almost. crowed Rooster. Bad idea, Turkey. How'd you know it was me? howled Turkey. Too brown, squawked Rooster. Gobble, gobble, grumbled Turkey. But looking at Rooster gave Turkey a new idea. In fact, it was his best idea yet. He already looked a lot like Rooster. This costume would be easy. Surely Farmer Jake wouldn't eat a rooster for Thanksgiving. Or would he? Rooster might be his next choice, Turkey worried, since roosters and turkeys look so much alike. Oh, gobble, gobble. Farmer Jake came into the barn. Turkey, 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 turkey. Come out, come out, wherever you are. 
Where's the turkey? asked Farmer Jake's wife. I don't know, he said. I looked everywhere. Oh dear, what will we do without a turkey for Thanksgiving? Well, we could always eat the rooster, I guess. Oh no, not rooster, thought Turkey. He looked around desperately for one more idea. Hmm. Then he found it. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, it was Turkey's best yet. Ding dong! Happy Thanksgiving! Did you order a pizza? asked Farmer Jake's wife. Nope, he said, but it's a good idea. So they all sat down and gobbled up the pizza. And it was Turkey's best Thanksgiving ever. The end. What a clever turkey. I'm glad he made sure everyone was safe. Except for the tomatoes, of course. Now it's time for our craft. Today we will be making a turkey. All the parts you need are included in the craft kit that you can pick up at the children's desk at the Donald W. Reynolds Library until December 2nd. Or you can substitute items from home. Parents, here's what you'll need. I'm ready to make my little turkey craft. I have everything I need. I have glue, scissors, and a craft kit that I picked up from Baxter County Library. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Let's see, we have four different colored pieces of paper. One, two, three, four. To make the tail feathers, we have a clothespin, a medium-sized circle for the body, and a small circle for the head. A beak. And one, two eyes, and last but not least, a little red wattle. Let's start putting this turkey together. First, let's make the face. We'll open up our glue stick. Now, how we're going to do this first is we're going to put the waddle on top, on the bottom of the beak. So put some glue on the back of the beak, then gently set your waddle on. Make sure it's sticking out a little bit so you'll be able to see it. Now blow on it so it dries. Not hard though or you'll blow it away. Now, is the waddle stuck on there? Yes. It's kind of tiny, so it can be hard to hold on to, like that. Now, we're going to put a little more glue on the back, on top of the waddle and the beak, and we're going to stick it to the head. Ready? And stick. Now for the eyes. Put a little glue on one eye and stick it above the beak. And a little glue on the other eye and stick it above the beak. Ta-da! The turkey's face is all done. Now let's stick the body on the clothespin. 
So we're going to put glue on the clothespin. And we're going to put the body on first. Ready, stick the bigger circle on, stick. And now the smaller circle that was the head. When you do this, make sure that you have the clothespin opening upwards so you can stick your tail feathers in. This is how it looks. Now we're going to set it to the side and let it dry. Would you like to hear a turkey fun fact? A boy turkey is called a tom and a girl turkey is called a hen. Ready to get back to it? Now it's time for us to make the feathers. You don't have to cut the feathers so that they look more feather-like, but it makes it more fun. I'm going to go like this. Now feathers are shaped like this, kind of a teardrop shape. So I'm going to start skinny on one side and then make it bigger and rounder and then go back to being skinny. Ta-da! There's my first feather. Let's do our second feather. Cutting it out. There's my second feather. Now for my third feather. And you can make your feathers look however you want them to look. Last feather. Ooh, it's pink. I like pink. And I have one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to glue them all together. I'm going to put a little glue at the bottom and then stick the yellow feather on top. Now I want to make sure you can still see the pink feather, so I'm not going to stick it like this. I'm going to stick it like this. There we go. Let's move our trash out of the way so we don't get it stuck to our feathers. Now I'm going to stick another feather on top and glue it. So put a little glue at the bottom of the yellow feather or whatever color feather that you're on and stick the next one on top, making sure that you can see the feather below it. Now we're on the last one. Put some glue and stick that last feather on top, making sure not to cover the feather below it. Ta-da! It's a set of tail feathers. Now, before we stick these two together, we're going to let it dry for a little bit. Since we have a little bit of time while we're waiting on that, let's play a finger play. Are you ready? First, you're going to make a turkey. You're going to say, I have a turkey, big and fat. So make a fist with your thumb sticking out. That's the turkey's head. Ready? I have a turkey, big and fat. He spreads his tail. So you're going to take your other hand and spread your fingers out. Then, you're going to join it with your first hand, like this. I have a turkey, big and fat. He spreads his tail and walks like that. His daily corn he would not miss. Now poke your thumb at the table. Oh, oh. His daily corn he would not miss. And when he talks, it sounds like this. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Would you like to try that all together? Let's do it. I have a turkey, big and fat. He spreads his tail and walks like that. 
his daily corn he would not miss. And when he talks, it sounds like this. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Great job, everyone. It looks like my turkey's ready to be put together now. We have our turkey. We have our turkey tail. We're going to stick it in the clothespin. Ta-da! My turkey's all done! That's it for today's story time. Thank you for watching. Remember to tune in every Wednesday to watch new preschool story times or visit our website baxlib.org for more children's activities. Happy reading! See you next time!